Good afternoon, everybody. This is Crystal with Crystal's Creations Wyckoff. How are you guys all doing? Great, I hope. So, first of all, announcements. For those of you that have won stuff from me, I am getting ready to package all that stuff and get that stuff shipped off. Okay, just to let you know, I'm working on it. <laughs> I'm a little slow sometimes, but I just thought I'd let you know. Don't worry, it's all getting shipped off at the same time. I, It's how I do stuff. So, I am playing with, well, not a brand new stamp set. It's new to me, but it's been, it's another polka dot orchard digital stamp set. But this one is called This Happy Mess by Jessica pickerel none other than the most wonderful amazing happy owner of the polka dot orchard um digital stamp company that she owns <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna lower it and show you guys actually i could probably show you now so i worked on a card yesterday and I'm not so sure that I'm happy with the way it turned out but she challenged all of us to make a mess and boy did I make a mess all right so and this is the card that I did so here's one I made yesterday but today we're gonna do something different and you can tell it got messy because look at the back of my card and this time when I stenciled my card for today's card I made a mess too on parts of it mm -hmm. yeah and a little bit on the inside but the, on the edges but that's okay it kind of gives it a rustic messy look which is good because this is this is called this happy mess that's what we're going for right a little bit of a mess <laughs> and this so if you guys want to see this because I'm saving time off of my video today by getting this done I used on here I used <laughs> shooting star lunar paste and tropical tango because I thought those two looked good together okay and this stencil is called kaleidoscope and that has just been released to the store okay this wonderful stencil yay I've had it in my hot little hands for a while. I've just been waiting and waiting. <laughs> but now I can play with it in a video. And I, I can play with this on a gel press too. So, yeah. So, yay. So, another stencil that was just released um, is called Sunrise. What's this one called? I wrote it down. Hold on. It's called Rise Rise and Shine. This one. This is called Rise and Shine. Um, now, what you guys could do if you wanted, you could order these and she can send you guys the SVG files if you would like and of the stencils that you would want in the store and um and she can send you the svg files and a lot of our scanning cuts and our cricut machines can cut the stencil um the stencil paper that a lot of us have on file and i actually found when i was going through my stuff the other day going through more stuff to reorganize to just kind of go through junk that I had that forgot I had 
and I found a couple of stencil blanks that I forgot I had that existed in my craft room. They just completely forgot that I had. So, yeah. So, our scan and cuts and some of our crickets, the new crickets can cut those. So, not your old crickets, but the new crickets, the updated crickets that we have now can cut the stencil. But anyways, so without further ado, let's get started on this cardstock. So this stencil, digital stencil is called This Happy Mess. This is the verbiage, oh, the verbiage, the sentiments for it. Thanks a bunch. I love this happy mess we call life. Okay. And I printed this all out on photo paper. And the reason why I did that is because we're going to play with it with sprays and alcohol inks and stuff like that. We're just going to make a big mess and see what we do. Okay. So yeah. And this one is a background or what you call a background. So here's one of them. We're not going to use this one though today. That will save that for another time. So these two are called transparencies. Now, when I thought when I heard transparencies, my brain was thinking, oh, let's print these out on acetate, the heat safe acetate, which I did. And I did, and I don't know what I did with that one. I, I can't find what I did with it, but it's around here somewhere. And one of them, I heated it up after I sprayed it and everything and heated it, sprayed it, and heated it. Well, I heated it a little too much with my heat gun and it curled up a little bit, melted it. And I'm like, yeah, I really made a mess out of that. So, <laughs> yeah. And then this one says, hello there, my friend. So I would advise you not to use the heat safe acetate for these go ahead and just stick with your yellow paper or photo paper and just stick with alcohol inking or whatever you're gonna do so you could still spray an alcohol ink on photo paper so I will show you here in a second so we're gonna play with this one so let me lower we're gonna use this one we're gonna lower so let me lower so you guys could see, can you guys see that? Yeah, so I'm gonna turn it sideways so you guys can see. So I have some colors here. I have Glacier, okay. I have Mojito. Hey, with as hot as it's getting lately around the state, the wonderful world around here. I'm sure we can all use a nice cold mojito about now, huh? <laughs> uh, gumball. And then we're gonna we're gonna lighten it up with a little bit of um, gold mixative. So we need to shake this one until we hear the balls are going rolling. Now I have my headset on. Ow! Ooh, that hurt. So I'm going to try, those balls might be stuck a little bit. This stuff has been sitting a little bit. There we go. I think I hear them. So that's good. There we go. So I want to get this done. And then I found a shape out of my Spellbinders die, nesting dies. So I figured we would use um, label 51 from Spellbinders. And we're gonna make a cool shape because I don't like always using rectangles or squares all the time and I thought we would make a cool shape this would be really cool to do so oh and then yesterday I was doing with my acetate so I don't know if you guys can see this but yesterday I took my acetate and I sprayed it with my Tim Holtz water sprayer and I flipped flip the acetate upside down on here and 
it took some of the stuff that was on my acetate on here I flipped it upside down and it actually took some of that stuff that was on there and transferred it to cardstock. I was really impressed. It didn't get everything, but it got most of it. Got all the black of the bubbles and all the little flowers and all the other stuff. But yeah, I was impressed how it did all that. So all that stuff that I had done on the acetate and flipped it over real fast, put it on my cardstock, and that's what it did. So I was just trying to play around and make a mess, and I was impressed. So amazing what you can do. Another form of sublimation. Okay, so let me get my blending solution. Do not use alcohol on photo paper because this stuff will dry out so fast, it's not even funny. You will need your blending solution. I have plenty. Ha! Huh. So, I am going to start out with gumball. Just a little bit. Okay. Do not have to shake these, so that's good. A little bit of that. Just some little drops. And one down here. Okay, and we're gonna open this. Now my door is closed because my daughter closed my door on me because she says I get a little loud sometimes. Now this takes the alcohol out of it from what I understand, but it also blends it too. And it makes it more of a vibrant fluorescent. Now. There we go. There we go. It's okay if it goes off my paper because I don't want it all over my table. Okay. So that's all it's going to do. So let's go ahead. Let's get some more blending solution on there. Let's get some mojito. Okay, let's start blowing. I don't know, because yesterday when I sprayed with alcohol first, it dried it instantly. This at least it helps spread it more. It also takes the alcohol right out of it, though. It lightens it up a little bit. So that's why I'm using blending instead of alcohol. Hmm. <clears throat> Okay, now we're going to go to Glacier, which is blue. Just using my Tim Holtz blower, hand cranker here, to blow all these. Tell me if I can blow the back of it. So this is just regular photo paper, because I am out of actually out of yellow paper. 
Uh, and it does work on photo paper. It works on the smaller size, thicker photo paper. This is my thinner 8.5 by 11 photo paper. Okay, so now we're going to add in the gold mixative. All right, you ready? Tiny drop. And look at that roll. Okay, so that looks about good. Okay. Okay. All right, so I will be right back. So hold on a second. Hold on one moment. Uno momento más. All right, guys, I am back. So what I did here is I went ahead and die cut this out. So my husband came in. He had misplaced his cell phone, but he got my daughter to help him look. So she had to call his phone. I'm not sure if the crisis has been adverted yet. So I am going to do it this way and we're going to make it flip up this way, but look how beautiful this looks, you guys. I die cut that out. Look how cool this looks. And I went ahead and cut this out instead of having it be all one big word, you know, hello there, my friend, because I figured we can go this way a little bit hello there and then we can go down here hello there my friend and we've got a ha one big happy mess now how cool is that so how about we get this card assembled okay so we're gonna pop this up on some foam I mean that looks really cool with alcohol inks Oh, and then I splattered this real quick. Let me show you what I do with it. What do I do with it? I just had it. I just had it in my hot little uh, inky spray inked hands. No, I didn't. So I use this Spice Bell Binders. It's called Silk Luster Spray. I know it looks like it could be fingernail polish. So this is a really beautiful, oh, and I forgot to shake it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I forgot to shake it. <gasps> and I sprayed it. So yeah, I forgot to shake it. So it's a really pretty cool color. As you can tell, even though I forgot to shake it, it looks really pretty. And then I used this 
other wonderful cool stuff by Jane Davenport called Fairy Floss. And yeah, it's like a ink. You can put it, it's like an ink refill, incredible ink. I got a four pack of these at Tuesday morning. So I don't know if there's more of these. You might want to check your local Tuesday morning, but that's where I got these. Um, you can also find these at your local Spellbinders. I've seen those there as well. But yeah, um, I couldn't believe that they had these at Tuesday morning for like dirt cheap. But these are, in case you're wondering, these are oh, ink refills for her credible inks for her one markers that she has but you can also use them for what I just did ink splatters um, for making a happy mess like I'm just now doing so that is what we're doing we are going to make a big happy mess so I need to grab my new roll of foam tape you guys because I'm in desperate need of my new roll of foam tape so we're going to unzip our zippy pouch which I forgot to grab this earlier. And I can now have a new zippier pouch, zippy pouch for holding more stuff because I'm definitely going to need it. That is for sure. So let me grab my junky scissors. Let's turn this upside down. It does bleed through photo paper, but that's photo paper for you, okay? Because it's not yepo paper. <laughs> but that's okay. It still got my job done. No one is going to see the underside of this. They're not going to rip this card apart. <sighs> so I'm going to have to get myself a some photo boards I think at Walmart or somewhere for taking pictures um, but no I'm doing really good at taking my pictures for my cards at least I'm trying I'm getting the size right so that's good but, um, but I'm doing awesome I'm getting lots of really good reviews on doing really good but Jessica says I'm doing amazing so that's good I feel blessed that I'm being told I'm doing awesome <laughs> sometimes I feel like some of my cards though I look at them and I go eh, but you know what not every card is perfect but we should never make fun of our cards okay even though we are not perfect in everything that we do. So I'm going to pop these up too, I think. Maybe. I don't know yet. So let's get this popped up. Let's get this down and then I will make my executive decision. Do I get these down? Because I don't know yet. So I'm trying to hurry here because I know some of you like shorter videos. Some like longer videos. But I'm, I'm trying so hard to do shorter videos, but it's hard sometimes. But I know if I find, if I can get some of my stuff done in advance, then I can make them shorter. So let me know in the comment section if you find, if I do a lot of this stuff in advance, if you like that better. Or if you would rather me do everything from the get-go in the video. So what would you prefer I do? So we are going to put that there. Kind of like in the middle. There. That looks really cool. We didn't lose our gold. I'm happy. Looks awesome. Okay. So now, 
Hello there. Yeah. Okay, we're going to glue some and then foam some, right? Let's see. So we're going to glue this part, foam that part. Okay, this is where I'm going to have to turn this around and have it facing me, you guys, because this is where this is going to get tricky. And let's do the glue part first. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, okay, put this back in again and do the. I'm going to have to order some more glue soon. I think I still have a little bit glue left. Okay, so we're going to go to the the N, the first part of the N in friend. Okay. Okay, right where my middle finger is. Okay. Okay, and then there, O, so from the L, or O, I think pretty much from the O, the L, the first L, okay, so right there. We got this. So we're going to glue that first. Okay. I kind of like this. Kind of looks like almost every color. So now I'm going to cut a small piece of foam tape there. And let's go right here if I can. Okay, peel this off. Let's hope this works. Hey, that worked, you guys. Yay. Okay, let's do the same thing for this side. Okay. All right, that worked. So there is our card. Now, I suppose I could add some gems, but you know what? I don't think this card needs any gems, do you? Let me know in the comment section if I should add some gems because this has a lot of mess. A lot of happy mess. So let me know how you like this card. I love it. I think it's cool. I think it's cute. It's got lunar paste on it. It's got alcohol inks by Tim Holtz. The lunar paste is by Simon Hurley. And you can get all of the alcohol inks in the lunar paste from Ranger Inks Industries, and I will put the just the 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 link, my affiliate links down in the description box if you want to get some of these wonderful things. And yeah, I love my alcohol inks. Of course, you can get them at if you don't want to pay for shipping, you can get them at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I 
Can you get them at Joanne Fabrics? I think, maybe. I'm not sure, but yeah. So, I just did a whole card in 30 minutes, you guys. I did it. Yay! <laughs> ah, awesome. So, I will talk to you guys all later. Um, again, um, this stamp set is called, what is it called again? This Happy Mess by Jessica Pickerel. I will post all that down in the description box, so please check that out. If you like this video, give it an extra thumbs up. Um, if you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. Hit that light bulb um, for when I go live. I do go live every Saturday at 1.30 in the afternoon, Mountain Standard Time or Mountain Daylight Time, however they say it now or whatever. I think the correct term now is Daylight Time, so it's Mountain Daylight Time. <laughs> so, um, ew, look at that, I think I got a mustache, I need to shave. <laughs> And, oh look, I think I'm getting some hair again. I need to get that hair off. No. Um, no. Just trying to make you guys laugh. No. But anyways. Um, yeah, good thing I have an electrolysis in the bathroom there that just pulls my hair right out. No. But anyways, I will talk to you all later. And you guys have a good uh, day. And I will see you all tomorrow at 1.30. Mountain Daylight Time. Happy crafting and happy making and yeah, be creative. Talk to y'all later. Bye. Oh, they changed my icons. Oh wow, it updated. Oh look at that. How cool is that?